Well, let me start off by saying I have gotten naked in the Riverside Marina parking lot once in my life. And I have uh, been to Riverside Marina parking lot once in my life. So basically what happened was I wasn't paying that good of attention, obviously. And I uh, unhooked the front strap on the boat before I wanted to. And when I backed the boat in, the boat slid off the trailer. I was not paying well good enough attention. I had to strip down to my underwear, jump in the water, swim out and get the boat. I wish I'd have had that on film. That's how it goes for me. Everything I ever do that could be possibly clickbait, I don't record it. So that's why we're growing slow because we're doing the right thing. But anyways, got naked right over there. Went and got the boat, <laughs> swam out to get the dang thing. And we're good now. Let's go catch us some on a buzz bait. And he got no shirt on because I soaked it. Okay, so there's absolutely no doubt that a jig is a wonderful way to catch giant, giant fish. But I'm having a little bit of trouble getting through all this debris and stuff. So I'm going to put on me a half ounce weight and flip. And uh, it'll just make me a little bit more efficient as far as getting in and out of the cover. So that's what we're going to do. All right. We got geared up now. This is some of my favorite conditions. High water and uh, a lot of debris washed up, a lot of log jams, some bushes in the water. Some of my favorite ways to fish. So hopefully we can catch some. This is uh, notoriously kind of a hard time to fish because... It does kind of scatter the fish out and lets the fish go up pretty far. But if you can find a bank or something like this right here where they can't go any further, just start flipping the bushes around it and usually get some bites. For every qualified food all American, the second time we went up to uh, the damn tail race of the dam. I got one. Finally caught me a dang. about how big they all are though oh crap them things them things it's them flying cars <laughs> you talking about exactly where one ought to be that bush right there should have one on it i made a complete stop just for this bush don't disappoint me bush Butterball. I said he's supposed to be one in there. And there he is. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind. These are fun. He ain't scared of no carp, is he? Mmm. He's short, but he is a daggum good one. I'm gonna turn so you can see the industrial behind me. Pretty good two and three quarter maybe close to a three pounder but probably two and three quarter right out of that bush he was supposed to be in back in that little muddy water mm. those are fun he was in that bush my, when i said look on him he went ballistic walling around that's fun that is fun so well i guess there's only one thing left to do now and that is do it again There's a good one. Crushed that freaking buzz bait, dude. Crushed it. That's what I'm talking about. So, if anybody's interested in what buzz bait I'm throwing, this is actually a $1 buzz bait from Walmart. And I have drilled holes in the blades, done with the helping thing, sanded off the head, and made it where a horny toe to go up over it. And then two and a quarter pounder not bad at all this is a pretty good one for here i believe i haven't uh obviously never fished here never even talked to anybody about fishing here but if you know anything about what's a good size fish for this lake what's a normal if there are tournaments here what does it normally take to win i'm guessing it's somewhere around 14 to 16 pounds because the quality is pretty decent i think there'd be a lot of 12 pound bags so not a bad one that one's a little over two pounds probably mm. man that's what I wanted to do whenever I came is throw that buzz bait around a lot. So ended up flipping for a little while. Now I have caught me one of the buzz bait. So let's go back on and catch some more. I found a 
really, really productive area. So I started off in the creek where Riverside Marina is, came out of there, went down, fished a different backwater, then fished a different backwater, then I came back up where I'm at right now, and they've been biting. So I found me a decent little area. The, the water looks good in here. It's not really uh, stagnant. There's no bubbles on the water, and it's got a decent color to it. So we found a good little area. Let's catch us uh, a couple more. Good. Oh, oh, dang, that was a freaking three pounder. Oh, man, that was a solid, solid, solid one. Three pounds, three and a half, maybe. These things are so fat here. Pounder that's like 16 17 inches long. Look at that thing. Let's keep him. Hunter's got you looking at the sky, but there's a fish in the sky. <laughs> hmm. All right, so I don't know if any of y'all have seen this or thrown this, but it's just a buzz bait that I throw a horny tail on. This is the exact one I was using in the video, but something's missing. The hook broke off. The last fish I caught, I bent the hook up. When I tried to bend it back down, I broke the hook off. And this is just a $1 Walmart buzz bait that I bought in a fishing town somewhere. Sometimes fishing towns have Walmarts that have a little bit more selection than others. And it had a really good wire on it, a strong wire for throwing braid. So I bought one, bent the blade the way I wanted to, dockered it up a little bit where it sounds good, sanded the head down where a horny toe will slide up over it and hold. But the problem with it is it, has a, it had a weak hook on it, so I would not throw it in a tournament. The one that I'll throw in a tournament is this Dirty Jig Scott Canterbury one. This has a really, really... It's not a super heavy wire hook, but it's a big hook. And whenever I hook them on this, I don't lose very many. Sometimes I'll miss some, but it's rare. When they eat it, they usually get it. So I throw this on seven foot three, medium heavy, with 50 pound braid or 60 pound nine strand K9. And uh, basically you don't want to set the hook super hard. I throw a 50, 50 pound or 60 pound braid and I use a rod that's a medium heavy because it's got a little bit more load to it. And whenever I set the hook, sometimes I'm not really thinking. I'll just jack them harder than I should. And I, want, I don't want the super stiff rod so I don't bend the hook out. So this is the one I throw in a tournament. This is one I've been pr practicing with and playing with for a while. And it's, I made it from a $1 buzz bait. If you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. That's big city bass fishing right outside of Memphis. I will see y'all later. You want to go ahead and hit that sub button because we're on Lake Cumberland now. Tournament starts tomorrow. Videos should be good. It's going to be cool. Try to get the best footage I can. I will see y'all.